We're going to start off with priming our eyelids. I'm using some concealer today. This is the e.l.f. Um, 16 hour camo concealer. I really enjoy this to prime the lids. You can use any concealer or foundation or an actual eye primer that you would like. And this is just going to help conceal the darkness, any veins, and kind of just give us a nice smooth base to work off. And I'm blending it right up into the brow bone and underneath the brow. So now we want to set it and depending on which type of eye primer you have, some may say to set it, some may say not, and it also just comes down to personal preference if you like to set your base or not. I do personally like to set my base, I think it creates um, an even sort of untacky base for your eyeshadows to blend on top because sometimes if it's too wet the eyeshadows can skip and you know look a little bit patchy. And also if you have oily eyelids this is a great tip to help keep your eyeshadow on all day. This eye look is super simple, it's literally using only three eyeshadows and I'm going to go in with a lovely transition shade like this. It's just a really nice sort of neutral brown shade <laughs> and I'm going to go in with a big fluffy brush like this and I'm just going to dip into that and this we just want really diffused and kind of light. So I'm just going to start from the outer corner and blend inwards. And I'm using circular motions, I'm using windscreen wiper motions, and I'm just blending it out. We want no harsh edges. Now that we have that gorgeous transition shade just kind of lightly diffused and blown out on the lid, we're going to go in and define the lash line a little bit. So this you can use a dark brown, a black or anything like that, but today I'm going to be using this beautiful like shimmery charcoal shade. And it's a little bit less harsh than black, but it's still going to give us that nice smokiness. So I'm just taking it on an angled brush and I'm going to start off with the outer corner of my eye closest to my lash line and I'm just going to start patting it on and then we're going to smudge it out after so. and you want to bring this right into the inner corner I really do feel that this helps if you look down into a mirror versus like trying to do it up over here Kind of have your mirror as you can see the eyes are nicely lined and what we're going to do is, is we're going to go in with a little bit of that same shade and a little bit of a smudger brush and we are just going to pull the eyelid taut and kind of just run over that line we just created and just blend it out slightly this is going to give a nice like crunchy very smoky and wearable kind of look and um, this is also a great trick if you want to define your lash line to make your lashes appear longer and fuller. And you can make this as dark or as light as you want. So we're going to move on to the face for now and I'm going to be going in with my L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I'm in the shade Natural Rose and we are going to come back and finish the eyes once we have our foundation on. I should have actually started with the face today because this is a very natural look and there's going to be no fallout, but I completely forgot. So, we're going to go in with foundation right now. I'm using my e.l.f. Cosmetics sponge and we're just going to pounce this onto the face and... Now that all of our sins are covered up, we can go in with some concealer to cover up the dark circles under our eyes and spot conceal anywhere where we feel like we need a little bit more coverage. So I'm going to go back in with my e.l.f. Camo Concealer and I'm going to draw some little lines and like a triangle underneath my eyes, making sure to get in that little inner corner which always seems to be blue. And then I've got a couple of little breakouts thanks to that time of the month. So <laughs> let's just conceal a little bit there. 
and then you can also highlight down the center of the nose and in between the brows. If you wanted to conceal and highlight at the same time, even more so, you could go with one or two shades lighter than your foundation shade, and that is really going to bring forward the areas that you want to highlight. So if you wanted to highlight your nose and in between your brows and maybe the center of your chin, you could go in with a lighter concealer and that's really going to bring those areas forward. When we are looking kind of all one tone and a bit flat, let's start bringing back some dimension to the face. So I'm going to be going with my Maybelline Superstay Multifunction um, Stick and I think this is in the shade Caramel if I'm not mistaken. And I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush and kind of dab my brush in the product like this, just that I don't get too much. Sometimes if you go straight in on the face with a stick foundation like this, it can be kind of hard to blend out, but if you go in with a little bit on a brush and build it up slowly, you'll get the best results. So I'm going to start applying it in the areas where I would like to bronze and contour a little bit, which is normally on the hollows of the cheeks. And I'm using a patting motion and I'm just dabbing the product in. And this, of course, you can go in with more as you go along. Just kind of build it up slowly and see what you like. Now, bronzing just does the world of good. So now that we're all bronzed, we're going to go in and set our face. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Translucent Powder. And we're going to go in with our Beauty Blender and we're going to set the areas that we want to. For some reason, I've been so dry and normally I'm like a normal skin type, but I've like got flakes on my nose and I don't know what's going on. So I'm just going to set very lightly underneath my eyes, my chin, my nose and my forehead, but I'm going to leave everywhere else kind of um, just natural. <laughs> where we applied the cream bronzer and just set it. This is just going to intensify the color and just set it like we just said. And this is going to keep it on all day and just, yeah, intensify the color. My favorite parts of makeup is blush. I am just a blush girl. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with this Makeup Revolution palette and I'm going to run my brush along all four of these blushes and just swirl them around and use those all as my blush because I can't decide which blush I want to use today. <laughs> so, just going to apply that on the apples of my cheeks and blend the product towards the back of the ears. And I go in with a very light hand and I just build up to the color intensity that I would like. I also like to apply some blush over my nose. I just think that kind of gives it a nice sun-kissed look and it's very youthful. Right, next we can move on to the eyes and we're going to start off with the lower lash line and I'm going to go in with this burgundy shade. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it, but not too much. And I'm going to use this very sparingly. I'm going to dip my brush in and I'm going to run it along the lower lash line very softly. And this is great because you could use any color that you want. You could do a brown, you could do a pop of color. It really is so versatile and easy to switch up. And then I'm going to go in with a clean brush and kind of just blend that all out. Phoebe, my cat has come to say hello. Hello, baby. Hello. <laughs> So, moving on, we are going to go in with this gorgeous sort of copper shade. It's got lovely warm tones in there. And this is what's going to give it that lovely copper look that you saw in my photos. So I'm just going to run that on top of that first shade that we just applied. And this is just going to warm it up a little bit and give it that more bronze copper look. definitely leave the lower lash line looking like this but I just wanted to put a little bit of extra sparkle on there so I'm using the Pro Fusion Cosmetics waterproof shadow stick and this is in the shade gold and um, these are brilliant to just add a little something extra to your eye look so I'm just running that underneath my lower lash line all the way to the inner corner and 
and these are just going to make the eyes sparkle and it hits the light stunning and I'm just going to add a little bit in the inner corner as well and that's basically the eyes done pop a little bit of mascara on and I applied a little bit of individual false lashes and the eyes are done to add a little bit of glow back to the face I'm going to go in with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and I'm just going to spritz my face making sure not to eat it <laughs> and I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Face Studio Chrome in Molten Rose Gold and I'm going to apply that on my cheekbones For the eyes, I am taking my Pears Soap with a little bit of spray and my spoolie and I'm just going to rub it together, get a nice little bit of soap on my brush and I'm going to go in and get this product in the brows. I kind of go against the grain of the hair and then I'll brush them down once I've done this eye. Kind of get it in there <laughs> and then I'll go in and brush them up next I'm just going to fill in any sparse areas that I may have on my brow so I've just dipped into a brown eyeshadow and I'm just going to line under my brows and then kind of flick the product up and then going back in with my spoolie and just brushing it all out Next is lips and I'm using this Makeup Revolution lipstick in the shade Breathe and I didn't line my lips this time, I just applied the lipstick straight on. And then for a bit more precision I'm just going to take a brush and kind of just neaten up the lines. This is the finished look everyone. I hope that you guys enjoy it and if you do line up recreating this look I would so appreciate it if you tagged me in it so that I can have a look at your beautiful work. Um, it's just makeup by Farron and I would love to see all your work. 